With everyone trying to protect themselves from the coronavirus, we all know masks are in high demand. LEX 18's Lee Searcy shows how one Central Kentucky jail is trying to fill that void. With the Woodford County Detention Center on lockdown since March 10th, the lobby has been transformed into a sewing center. Inside, a group of nine inmates, normally out on work release, are busy making masks for anyone who needs one. Luckily, my kitchen manager, she used to have a sewing shop. So she had tons of material, sewing machines, an embroidery machine, and so it just grew from that little idea. Jailer Michelle Rankin says most of the fabric came from donated clothing they couldn't use. Each mask carefully crafted from one step to the next. Some masks personalized with embroidery. And they come up with their own new ideals and stuff. I'm, I can't brag on them enough. They've done a great job. I was out of practice. And thanks to Linda, she kind of fed me the skills back. One of my sergeants asked if we could put an N95 filter and I did have the mask. Oh, um, so what they've done is they put her name on it, but in the inside, is, this is an N95 filter. So they have Velcroed that in, so she'll be able to wash this. So how many masks have you all made, would you guess? About 300. And the orders keep coming in. A lot of people reached out and asked if they could purchase them, which we're not selling them, we're, we're just giving them away. These tailors in training, working hard for Team Kentucky. In Woodford County, Lee Searcy, LEX 18 News.